We've been talking about sustainability recently, and last week I had the chance to go down to Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, attend a conference on sustainability in the mattress industry. And it, it was great. There was so much interesting information um, about our industry and, and in sustainability in general. So with sustainability, what is it and, and how do you start? Well, um, over and over and over again, it was you start at the beginning. You, you have to have a baseline of, of what you have and what you do, and you build from there, which makes total sense, whether it's electricity, whether it's um, energy from natural gas, whether it's how much gas you use in your truck, whether it's how much um, waste gets thrown in the dumpster. You, you come up with a baseline, and then you work to reduce you know, what, what those numbers are. For example, for us with a dumpster, we, we do have waste. Uh, we don't have a lot of waste, but some of that waste, well, we can certainly do a better job recycling uh, materials like cardboard. Uh, we don't have a lot of cardboard, but that's one thing we could do. Um, some of the plastics that our, our foams and, and fabrics get shipped in, that's something we could recycle, do a better job with. You know, we don't have a lot of scrap in, in what we do, but we do have some foam scraps and, and, and ticking scraps and our goal is to somehow um, shred those materials and to create our own pillows. So instead of that, you know, that foam going into um, the landfill, we could make pillows and, and offer those to our cu customers. The mattresses that we take back from customers, when we make a delivery, we'll pick up your mattress. But if it's in good shape, then we're gonna, we donate it to, um, to furniture friends um, who have people who need mattresses. And that's just a win-win because it's not going in the landfill, but more importantly, it's going to someone who really needs a mattress. The delivery truck, are we, are we, are we driving the most optimal routes that we can drive? Because that is going to save us energy. And last year, we, we converted all of our uh, lighting in uh, the, our Bitterford factory into LEDs with the, with the help of the state of Maine. And the state of New Hampshire has a similar program. And, um, and we converted our Portsmouth showroom to LED lights. So um, again, making great progress in that area. Now three of our five showrooms um, are LED. All businesses in our industry and in, in, and in most industries could be doing these things. Um, it makes great business sense. Um, we have definitely taken we we have taken on this initiative and, and we plan on continuing it because it is so important not only for our environment it's great for our business and it's great for the people um, who work with us and our, our customers I mean it's it's literally a win-win for everyone I mean it, it this isn't something that just one company can do and, and make a difference it's we all have we all have to be part of it one of the good things is I feel we do a lot of things right I feel like our business model is set up as a sustainable one um, and it's interesting because one of the speakers made a comment and he said, you know what, the, the, best, the, the best definition that I've heard, it's, um, it's about resource management. It's the, the resources you have, whether it's energy, raw materials. And his comment was, our grandparents were great at sustainability because they just, that's the way they lived. And in many ways, that's what our business model is. As a small local manufacturer um, who, tried to, who we always try to do the right thing, um, but we're, we're, we're constantly looking for ways to be better, looking for ways to be more efficient. Um, and so in many ways, it plays out that way. And one of the more interesting things I learned is that in many industries, um, the mattress industry, the furniture industry, um, even appliance industry, um, People's number one concern is how durable is the product that they're buying. It's something like 95% uh, of the, the products that we buy, we consume in six months. Um, that's an amazing statistic. A lot of these mattresses that you know you buy online and, and the life of these mattresses are, is, is so much shorter than a great quality mattress that, that we build. We pride ourselves in, in the fact that our mattresses are gonna last 10 plus years and then after 10 years they're still in good condition they're probably going to go to a hand-me-down for a child or a guest room or or donated someplace because they're still in great quality so it really made me proud to hear that and and that's why we've had so much success i think is because our customers know that we build great mattresses and that they that's the expectation that we have and that's the that's the goal that we have so it, it's a great fit but 
thinking of it, you know, we never think of it in terms of sustainability, but um, you know, when you when you go and you hear the numbers and the, see the statistics, and you know, that's that that's a big part of it is is how long is your product going to last? And other statistics, which is great, again great for us, is that you know, people people um, when they're looking for a sustainable product, they're looking for something that's locally manufactured. Again, we fit right into that. That's been our that's been our business model since you know since 1938. So what we found is there's a lot we're doing well, but certainly there's more that we can do. Um, this is such an important topic and learning about it has been a great experience.